Taoiseach, eight months ago, thousands of people took to the streets following the Belfast so-called rugby rape trial. We protested the treatment of a young woman involved at her clothing being passed around the jury. But this week, another young woman has suffered a humiliation in a Cork rape trial. We can't comment on the verdict in the case, but we need to focus on the lessons. Why is nothing yet being done to stop the routine use of rape myths in trials? And how concerned is this government about the chilling effect this is having on victims coming forward? A barrister actually told a jury to, quote, look at the way she was dressed, that she was, quote, open to meeting someone, end quote, because she was, quote, wearing a thong with a lace front. A 17-year-old was put in the dock for her choice of underwear, and she was open to meeting someone, uh, was the implication. She was asking for it. Women in this country are getting a little bit weary at uh, the routine victim blaming going on in Irish courts and the failure of lawmakers in this House to do anything about it. Either the judiciary actually believe these rape myths, in which case they should be forced to do uh, education, not voluntary, or they're just using them to introduce sexist stereotypes that they know exist in society and among juries, I suspect the latter. Now, we've seen recently clothes, fake tan, even contraception, been used to discredit women who have the bravery to go to court. But the last uh, Rape Crisis Network study estimated at best 10% of rapes ever get reported, and only one in 40 rapes have an appropriate punishment. So how heroic do you have to be, Taoiseach? How much levels of fortitude to pursue a rape trial in this country? particularly when research actually shows you have less chance of a conviction if you're young, if you knew the rapist, if you had any alcohol or drugs consumed, if you're working class up against uh, a well-paid lawyer. Now, we don't have data in this country because of the lack of funding of a savvy report. But the TUC in Britain, for example, found 63% of 18 to 24-year-olds experience sexual harassment at work, 69% of hospitality workers and 67% of manual workers. And last week, Google workers effectively took strike action, even though they don't have a union, against sexual harassment and inequality. Me Too now has to be taken into the workplace and into society. And women and men are seeing the necessity for themselves to take action because they can't wait for the pace of change being offered by this parliament. Protests have been called in five cities against uh, the conduct of this trial. Tomorrow at the Spire at one o'clock and in Cork at, in Patrick Street at one o'clock and in other cities as well. And it might seem embarrassing to show a pair of thongs here in this incongruous setting of the doll. Deputy. But the reason I'm doing it, how do you think a rape victim or a woman feels at respond. the incongruous setting of her underwear being shown in a court. Tisha to respond. And when is this doll going please. to take serious action Everybody on the issue of sexual the violence? Tisha to respond. Three minutes. Yeah, thanks. I want to thank um, Deputy Coppinger for raising this important issue, which I know is one uh, of enormous concern uh, to the Irish public, uh, both men and both women. Uh, and let me say this, and let there be no doubt about it, um, nobody asks to, be, asks to be raped. And it's never the victim's fault. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter where you went, who you went with, or what you took, whether it was drugs or alcohol. Nobody who's a victim of sexual violence, nobody who's a victim of rape, is ever to blame for the crime committed on them. Uh, and I believe that any defence uh, on those lines is absolutely reprehensible. And let me put that very clearly on the record of the stall. In terms of any individual court cases, uh, you know how the courts work. We live in a democracy. This is Parliament. Parliament is separate from the courts. There's a prosecution. There's a defence. The judge and jury hear the trial, hear all the evidence, uh, come to a decision as to whether there's a conviction or not, and then the judge uh, rules on an appropriate sentence. Uh, and we can't interfere uh, in the way uh, individual court cases um, are conducted. However, I do believe uh, we need to examine uh, this matter. Uh, and a review has been established under the chairmanship of Tom O'Malley, who is a recognised expert in this area. And he's going to look at issues such as the evidence offered, protocols, and the practice and the procedure. 
uh, to see if we can uh, make an improvement uh, as to how such trials are conducted. Joe, one minute. The point is that this doll hasn't taken sexual violence and harassment anyway seriously enough in, in, in comparison to the level of anger and outrage that there is out there in society. We need massive legal changes and we need a discussion about consent throughout the length and breadth of society and you could start by immediately approving the sex ed bill that Solidarity put which has consent at its core. But will you give a commitment Taoiseach to have compulsory training for the judiciary and juries, to have advocates for survivors to put the survivor at the centre of, so we don't have the high attrition rate that we currently have for sexual cases, with most people having to wait two to three years uh, to have their case heard, a reversal of all the cuts to the rape crisis centres that were imposed in the last 10 years to make sure that they can do the type of research that's necessary, and also can you now set up the specialist units in the Gardaí that were apparently dropped for whatever reason? We also, I would encourage that, yes, we know that there's a report coming from Tom O'Malley, but it's piecemeal and it's snail pace change. You. When you compare the huge global phenomenon Can of the feminist revolt that's Patrick. taken place in society, and I would encourage people to come to the protests because Tisha that is what forces the political respond. establishment to act. Do you have one minute to respond? I think it's just uh, important to record what this Oireachtas has done. Uh, we've passed and enacted uh, new domestic violence legislation, gender-based violence legislation, only in the last couple of months, and that will enable us to sign the Istanbul Convention uh, on domestic violence and gender-based violence. Uh, in terms of services for, for the rape crisis networks, uh, as you'll be aware, TUSLA is the funder of domestic sexual and gender-based violence services. Uh, and the budget for that has now been increased to 23.8 million. Uh, that's a 3.4 million increase uh, in, 26, in the 2016 to 2018 period. I know that some individual service providers and advocacy bodies have had their funding reduced. Others have had, had it increased, but overall there's been an increase, uh, in fact, in funding for those areas. Uh, and also we put a large amount of effort uh, into the whole issue of consent, uh, workshops with professionals, uh, and a big effort, particularly in education, uh, in our schools uh, and in our universities, uh, to make sure that those uh, that those discussions are happening. Thank you.